Hey what's up guys so in this video I want to talk about another feature that has gotten a massive upgrade with One UI 6.1.1 and it has completely been overhauled and feature in question is smart select. Now it can be accessed through the edge panels so let's bring out the edge panel and this is now smart select. Now previously we used to get four options here which allowed us to take different types of screenshots and custom shapes and then we could also create GIFs and do screen recording but now it's different so let me show you how smart select works now so it can be accessed from the edge panels so this is smart select and you can also access it from the s pen menu here so this is right here so i'm going to be using this one because it's just easier for me to do so if i tap on it now you get this new interface which is more like the google thing so if i long press to launch google here you'll see that it's pretty much similar so if i draw anywhere it will be selected and i can share it like that same is the case i think they have taken some inspiration from google so if i tap on it now we get the screen here and now i can draw anywhere and that screen portion will be selected and then i can move it around change the shape do whatever i want to do it's very cool now looks very futuristic and if i tap on it it will select the whole screen so let's say i want to select something particular let's say I want to select this I will draw around it and it will be selected automatically I can then move around I can then move around these edges to make it more precise and then I've got few options down here I can sketch the image right from here I can copy it share it download it and then there is this text button if I tap on it it will highlight the text which can then be copied as well and then finally we have got this three dot menu here this allows us to still pin the screenshots if i tap on it this will be pinned on the screen i can tap on it again once again i can from here from this pinned screenshot i can select the text i can download it and i can minimize it and move it around while i do my thing on my phone but there are few other things that you can do with the smart select because it is more dynamic now so let's say you take a screenshot of an address here so if i tap on it smart select and I select an address I can now add it to note but then I can tap on this three dot menu and it shows me map because this is an address I can tap on the map and it will just launch in the maps app of your choice now same is the case with phone numbers you can select phone numbers tap here and it will give you an option to call them send messages add it to contact if it's another language you can translate it as well and pin it so as you've seen if it is another language that you select it will then give you the option to translate it as well so you can select the translate and it will translate it on screen right there to show you what it actually says so that is very cool so smart select is more dynamic now it gives you the options based on the information that you have selected on your display now because it also gives you an option to do the smart sketching right where you take the screenshot it happens right in smart select so if i tap on it this will take me right into here and i can draw anything here and this will do the sketch to image thing so there you go now we have got few options few arrows in here and it makes sure that it blends in with the scene so that's pretty cool as well so that's about it from this video guys let me know what you guys think of this new smart select and if you've been using it and how you've been using it or do you even use it in your day-to-day -day life i will see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye